the notorious cryptozoological sea serpent Cadborosaurus. This is all things creepy, let's begin. Cadborosaurus or Caddy is an alleged sea serpent found throughout Northern America, specifically the Pacific coastal regions. To summarize its most common depictions, it has a horse-like head, a long and slender neck with two small pectoral flippers and an elongated body that often appears to coil as it swims through the water in an undulating motion and potentially two small hind flippers or in some depictions they're shown as being fused into a rudder like tail. Due to this unusual appearance a number of globsters which are essentially washed up carcasses have been reported to potentially be caddy. In 1930 a 24 foot skeleton with flippers washed up on Glacier Island initially thought to potentially be caddy it's most likely thought to be a whale, however, it's uncertain for sure. In 1934, once again in November, on Henry Island, a 30 foot long decomposed skeleton was found. It was, however, found to be a basking shark after being analysed by a doctor. In 1937, in October this time, a potential Cadborosaurus carcass was retrieved from the stomach of a sperm whale in Naden Harbour and it was photographed. However, it was later identified to be a fetal baleen whale, which if you think about it is even more strange because why is a fetal baleen whale in the stomach of a sperm whale? That's not what you'd expect to find in there for sure. In 1941, a carcass that has been infamously known as Sarah the Sea Hag was found in Kitsilano Beach but this was identified later to be a shark. In 1947, in December, at Vernon Bay, Barkley Sound, Vancouver Island, a 45-foot creature was found, but this too was identified to be a shark, presumably some sort of basking shark. In 1950, in Hill Lake, Oregon, a creature was found with four tails and thick hair. However, this too was identified as a shark, this time a whale shark. And in 1956, near Dry Harbor, south of Yakutat, Alaska, a carcass measuring 100 feet in length was found with two inch long hair covering its body. And naturally, this is quite an astounding find. However, W.A. Clements identified the carcass to be that of bared beaked whale, which is interesting because the average maximum size of Ed's beaked whale is only around 12 meters. In 1962, in April, near Uslet, a 14 foot long carcass was discovered and described as having an elephant like head. It was dragged ashore and then later thought to be an elephant seal, which would make sense. Then, in 1963, near Oak Harbor, Whidbey Island, a carcass was found with a head resembling a horse. However, this was later identified to be that of a basking shark, or at least thought to be. So those are some of the notable potential sightings of Cadborosaurus washing up on the beaches. And it is interesting because a lot of them are identified and have been found to be potentially a wide array of different species. If you think of what a shark looks like and an elephant seal, almost completely different, but for whatever reason, this strange list of characteristics that Caddy has fits some of these features. So when a decomposed animal washes up, a lot of the times you might vaguely pick up the pattern of Cadborosaurus. Then of course, there's the factor of the time in which a lot of these carcasses were washed up. In the 30s especially, even up to the, the 50s and 60s, the documentation wasn't as good as it is today. Taking samples and then preserving those samples for genetic analysis, even conducting the genetic analysis back then, it was rudimentary. That's why we have statements such as, it was thought to probably be a basking shark. There's no way that we can 100% identify that through genetics because the samples are either lost or damaged. 
Naturally, with this being an aquatic animal, there are a few live reported captures. 1968, August W. Hageland claims to have caught a baby one near the Corsi Island, but then returned it to the water. And the same again in 1991, in July, on Johns Island. Phyllis Harsh claims to have caught a small two foot long caddy, but then again returned it to the water. Now, I don't know if you know anything about fishermen, but they love to take pictures of their catches. Even on a fishing boat, there's, there's gonna be a camera lying around. It seems particularly fishy, excuse the pun, that no one documented any of this, took any pictures, especially in 1991. You could maybe excuse someone not having a camera in 1968, but the 90s, there's, there's probably some sort of camera lying around. Interestingly, this legend is deeply embedded in folklore. Even some interpretations derived from some of the Native American sightings and, and folklore that's been passed down. It's estimated that there have been over 300 claimed sightings. However, that's over the course of 200 years. And as we know, over the course of 200 years, animals come and go all the time. Extinction is a common thing. So maybe this was a real creature that once lived, but now is either scarce or fully gone. Or perhaps it's misidentification. However, one of the most prominent and notorious sightings caught on tape is the Kelly Nash video, which I'll play for you now. So as you can see, the creature is swimming in an undulating motion, part of its body emerging and then descending and then another part emerging and descending, the classic sea serpent style of swimming. In the audio of the recording, you can hear people state that this is definitely not a seal or sea lion. However, as we know, sometimes animals get injured. I think it's a bit far-fetched to say something definitely is something, especially with such poor visibility at that distance. If a sea lion or seal got injured or was deformed in any way, it would swim differently. And then of course you have the potential hoax factor. Maybe this is someone thinking they're gonna get rich quick off of this video and playing it up, saying that that's definitely not a sea lion. Because of course, naturally, people that don't know much about the sea are gonna take that verbatim. Analyzing this footage from 2009, so cameras weren't quite as sharp as they are today, to be fair. It's not the best footage, but it is okay, it's decent. And it has been stabilized several times. As we can see here, this appears to be some kind of dark skinned creature, which is quite common in colder waters, swimming, that classic undulating motion, to me, it potentially could be a seal or sea lion. However, one aspect of the video that seems particularly interesting is the breach where there appears to be a spray of water, potentially through some sort of blowhole. Now, of course, seals and sea lions, they tend not to do this. This is a trait associated with whales or dolphins. And then there's also the possibility that this is just junk that's getting blown along across the sea and bobbing up and down, which admittedly is quite possible as well. This is quite close to the, the edge of the water, if you will, the coast. So potentially this is some debris that's just floating by. So in conclusion, I'm leaning more towards Caddy being a case of misidentification for the most part potentially a few hoaxes here and there, people claiming they've captured it live and then just released it without taking any photographs. That seems very suspicious to me, but potentially an unknown, unidentified species. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like the video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.